Hey guys, Jabo785, coming to you today with the final installment of my Region Bahamut series. As you've all probably noticed, it's been quite a while since I've actually produced a Region Bahamut video. And the main reason that is, is that I've been busy doing clinical work and studying for my board exam and so on and so forth. So, um, my order, let's talk about them real quick. Um, we've actually taken the last Holy Wars, was place 33, and the most current Holy Wars, we actually took place 9. Alright, so we ranked 9 out of all the other orders out there. And it was one of those things that playing the game began to feel more like a job. And I noticed I was spending 2 to 4 hours a day just trying to keep up and keep on the game. And it just got to the point where it wasn't any more, it wasn't fun anymore. So what I did was I actually, um, I'm quitting the game. I quit the game. I already gave all my stuff away to all my other order members. I had about four or five thousand uh, HP worth of cards and HP to begin with. I had about a thousand, uh, a thousand uh, holy powder liquid, holy powder. And um, yeah, it was just one of those things. It, it was time to give it up. It was eating up way too much time. So, I gave Rage of Bahamut the guillotine, pretty much. And, you know, it was one of those things where we took place 9, so top 10, and to get to rank 4, which would have been like um, a Lucifer or Zeus or King Arthur, every single one of our order members would have had to get gotten 10 times the amount of points we had to get 4th place, okay? And we already had people th spending thousands and thousands of dollars every Holy War. And I'm talking real life money, not just HP. Um, I actually spent, oh god, probably, probably around 300 HP plus uh, last Holy Wars. And that's not including the 80 personal Holy War powder that I had. You know, I played the game legitimately. And you know other people don't. I actually talked to somebody that had 40 feeder accounts. And it's just one of those things. I'm not really willing to spend any more time to try to compete in an environment that, that it's that corrupt. Um, nothing against any of my team members. They're great people. I actually asked them if I could stay on our line chat bat to uh, continue to communicate with them. Because I still have a great time talking to them. So what do I plan on doing? Well... Like I said, I passed my board exams, and that was a freaking joke. It cost like a thousand bucks. I actually had to travel out of state. Uh, the test was four hours, and it was 200 questions, and you, every single freaking question is just a goddamn trick question. But by the mercy of God, somehow I passed. So now I'm looking for a job. And, uh, you know, it's just one of those things... I can't really waste any more time on Rage of Bahamut. Two to four hours a night. You know, I've I got to start focusing more on real life things. And what I plan on doing is I plan on getting back into martial arts, like I said, if you've ever watched any of my other videos. And I've been doing that for the last two, three weeks, and I've actually already seen a really big difference in my physique, which I'm happy with, and my energy levels. And the other one is I want to start spending more time with my family and my friends. And, um,. You know, everybody that I know is getting married, having kids, or, you know, just trying to focus on their own jobs and their own lives. So, I've got to take that extra quality time to make sure that I do do that, instead of wasting it on a video game. You know, Rage of Bahamut, there are some good things about it. I met some really great people through Rage of Bahamut, but the game itself seems pretty damn flawed. So, um, I'm going to post this video, I'm going to keep up some of my old Rage of Bahamut videos for about a week, and after that I'm taking them down because I'm no longer going to promote that type of game that installs that values of you need to cheat or you need to spend money to get ahead. You know, um, it's just one of those things. That was kind of the final straw of us taking ninth place and working our asses off. And our order leader, who's an amazing woman and a great gal, was getting so stressed out. You could just tell that was such a burden on her. It's gone too far once that starts to happen. It's no longer fun for me. So... What I'm going to try to do is, if I can find time, I'm going to just go ahead and do my play-along videos. If I find a really neat game that I want you guys to play or join, I'm going to be sure to tell you about that and bring that to you. Maybe do a movie review here, here, here or there. Maybe still do a contest video every once in a while if there is a game and you guys want to uh, get some free stuff. So we'll just see where that takes me. But I hope that you continue to like. I hope that you continue to subscribe and stick with me through this. So that being said, 
the next video I'm gonna or the next game I'm gonna show you is called Infector 2 from Newgrounds.com. And like I said, guys, whenever you visit Newgrounds, make sure that you update your anti spyware or anti malware because there is some unfortunate material that sometimes gets through. But again, you can get on their main page of top games and it's called Infector 2. So I'm gonna post another video shortly. Be sure to play along with me. It's a great game. The only thing that I'll warn you about this game is it is extremely addictive. I planned on just playing it for like 30 minutes. I ended up playing it for like five and a half hours straight. So make sure that you have the time to play this game before you actually get on. Well, guys, that concludes this video. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe. This is Jbo785 signing off.